I'm going to be proving evolution to you today. Evolution is a fact. Not a belief, not a myth. Evolution is a fact. And all you need to prove evolution is your hands. That's it. If you ever notice from a construction worker, someone who works in a lumber yard, a mechanic, excuse me, something like that, you notice that their hands are really rough. They're coarse, they have calluses, otherwise known as man hands. That's what it's stereotypically known as. Okay, now take someone like myself. I haven't worked in somewhere like that where my hands had to go uh, and be under those strenuous uh, conditions and so my hands are generally more soft. I don't have calluses on my hands. So why the difference? Why the difference in our two hands? Were they born with their hands like that? Was I born with hands like this? What happened? No. They were not born with their hands like that. They were born with softer hands. Just like most babies. You could go to any human baby and you can see they are born with generally soft hands. Over the years of them doing these things, these hard things, their hands had developed a, a natural defense system. That's what calluses are. From all the friction of, say, turning tools, uh, carrying around cement bags, whatever it is in these hard conditions, it could cause cuts and abrasions, things that your body has to defend against. And, and that's what it does. So it starts to develop calluses. And so over the years, your hands become stronger. So when the same things come... Uh, when you're, uh, lost my train of thought. So, when they're in these same situations again, they won't be injured. That's what evolution is. Evolution is a, a, a gradual development. But as, for, as far as a defense, or to, be, uh, to become stronger or faster, something that helps you survive better in your environment. In their environment, they, ha they get injuries to their hands. So your body has to develop a protection against that, in which it does. Me, I, didn't, I don't have an environment like that where uh, I get a lot of injuries to my hands, so my body has no need to develop uh, that defense system. That's evolution. Okay, so the question is, well, say they develop hands like that. Well, how come their kids don't have that? That's also part of evolution. Humans are always constantly going, not only through evolution, but also through uh, de-evolution. Say this person, throughout their whole life, uh, they work until they're 60 years old. For, say, 30 years, until they're 60 years old, they worked in this construction and, you know, really hard conditions. And you've seen their hands. I'm sure you've seen their hands. Uh, really rough, coarse hands. So now at the age of 60 years old, they retire. They stop working. Now your body starts to go through de-evolution. Since, on a daily basis, you're not having your hands experience all that uh, friction from turning a screwdriver or otherwise getting injured, your body starts to de-evolve. There is no need for your body to have protection against that because you're no longer in those, uh, you're not uh, in those strenuous, strenuous conditions for your hands. And so your body starts to de-evolve. Okay, now, say, okay, you worked in construction for 30 years. Now, say, 10 years into your construction, is when you had a child. Okay, so you're, say you're at, at that point your hands are at its most roughest point. So you would think, okay, then the child should have rough hands as well. Ah, but there's something else. The person who they had the child with. Remember, when a child uh, is made, it's made from the, the total genetic, make, genetic makeup of both parents. So even though the father, for the past 10 years, uh, before he had that child, was working in construction, his hands are really, really rough, calloused, his mom, say, for example, has not. And so when the child is born, it takes the genetic makeup from both, and so, say slightly, say ever so slightly, in the genetic makeup of the child, it will have a little bit rougher hands, say, than the average child. Say, from a child who was born from two parents who didn't have... Um, who never worked really hard uh, jobs like that in their life. But it wouldn't be noticeable, since it, it, it would, that's only a 10 year period that the body had a chance to evolve. Okay, now let's go to extreme circumstance to prove this. Say the father, for the past 10 years, had been working in that construction. Mother, as well, had been working in that construction. They have a child. Okay, it's going to be very minute, probably not even noticeable to the human eye, but that child is going to have somewhat stronger, coarser hands than uh, 
its counterparts, its other, other babies. But again, de-evolution. When that child is born, it's not going uh, and starting working in construction or whatever. As with most, if not all, human babies, they're baby, quote-unquote baby. You know, they put the soft booties on their hands. Uh, a baby doesn't have to do anything. You don't start, uh, not until you're, what, three years old, four years old, you start playing on bars and you're playing with basketball and stuff like that. So for the first, say, three years of your life, you go through absolute de-evolution, say, as far as your hands go. You have, your, your hands have no reason to callous because they're not experiencing uh, any pain, no, uh, no abrasions, no cuts. Nothing that your body would think, hey, I need to develop a defense against this. Nothing, because they're always protected. So... There's that de-evolution process. Okay, now, that child, who, again, who's both parents who work in construction, say, now they start to go outside, play uh, rough, you know, they do rough things with their hand, play with baseball bats, so on and so forth, and then that child goes into uh, construction or something like that, where they're going to have to experience uh, harsh things on their hands. They end up having a child with another woman who does the same exact thing. That would eventually lead to a stronger uh, coarse hand because it's over over time, over say a hundred years, two hundred years, eventually a thousand years. Long as this keep continuing happening, it would a little bit, but like I said, not a lot because again the de-evolution process. Even though that this uh, child uh, was with a lady who was in construction and their descendants and their descendants and so on, there since there's that uh, there's periods in our life, like I said the. Um, retirement or bef before we're like three years old when we don't do anything with our hands when you know do things around the house nothing really strenuous nothing that's really rough that's all the evolution and th which brings me to monkeys or apes if you notice for monkeys or apes they have coarse hands really coarse rough hands even from birth so why is that it's because that them throughout say 90 percent 90 some odd percent of their life they're constantly using their hands. They're swinging from trees and doing stuff with their hands throughout their whole life. There isn't a retirement age for that. So constantly their, their hands are experiencing this and their bodies naturally have to, to develop a defense against it. You, there's a lot of, if, you're, uh, if you ever notice from a kid, you're, you're swinging around on the bars, it's the same thing swinging around on trees. There's a lot of friction. And that's going to cause, again, that's going to cause abrasions or cuts or whatever it is on your hand. And that's why monkeys, gorillas, apes, whatever it is, have really strong hands. Because throughout the great majority of their life, they have to endure that. And so when they have a kid, uh, or a, a, the baby has a, the monkey has a child, say, I, I mean, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't know a monkey's life. But I, I would assume from when it's very young, it has to do these things. It has to swing from trees, whatever. Unlike a human baby, like I said, there's that three year, approximately a three year span where it's, baby, quote-unquote baby. The baby doesn't have to do anything. You know, a human baby doesn't have to swing through trees. It doesn't have to get its own juice. Nothing. Whereas a, a baby monkey or a gorilla, they have to do those things. They might have to open their own fruit. They have to swing from trees and whatever it is. And that's why their hands continuously stay rough. It's, it's evolution, it needs to be continuous. Because if it's not continuous, then there's that de-evolution. And that's what happens with humans. And that's why, generally, when human babies are born, they have soft hands. It's because their, their first few years, like I said, uh, forget that. From their, their last two parents, like I said, say one of them was in construction. And which is not even that likely. There's not even a lot of people in construction. But just say one person is, but say the mom is not. Okay, so the genetic makeup from both, it combines, and say the mom has soft hands, the dad has really rough hands. So the baby will get somewhere in between. And then, again, once the baby is born, it goes through that de-evolution uh, de process. And probably not until the child's, say, at least 16, does he start really doing something hard with his hands, construction, or whatever it is. And that's a maybe. And again, since the great majority of humans don't do that, since the great majority of humans don't do a lot of rough things with their hands, our hands aren't rough like gorillas and monkeys. That is evolution. Evolution is a fact. Again, it is not a myth. It is not a belief. It is a fact. The proof is in your hands. That's all you need.